the ultimate shade of it all. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Nympho Wars here. We've been downgraded to uh, public access TV. I've had all of my YouTube videos be demonetized by the new World of Wonder order. But I serve looks and I serve truth and I'll do it on whatever platform I have to even if it has to be on public access television. Thanks everyone for joining me tonight. Thanks to uh, everyone I'm looking at here in my chat room. We do have uh, the phone lines open for call-ins. If anyone wants to uh, hop in Discord and for uh, spew some uh, real truth, serve up some real truth, serve up some looks. We are on AOL Instant Messenger, as always. It is AOL Instant Messenger has now become the go-to messaging, <coughs> the go-to messaging app for the uh, on the dark web. A AOL Instant Messenger is not dead. It's only now uh, been uh, relegated to the dark web, or as I like to call it, the freedom web. AOL Instant Messenger just went from dusted to from busted to dusted. It's all all that happened. We are free from fake news. We are free from the complete lack of eleganza on the part of the Democratic National Committee. As long as we are on AOL Instant Messenger on the dark web. And Wally Bravo, you sure are right. They do always silence fierce, dusted, conservative voices on YouTube. That's because the mainstream media, which works for the new World of Wonder order, is under the complete thrall of Jeff Bezos and RuPaul and George Soros. And so they're trying to silence us. It makes me sick. I can't take it anymore. I can't stand it anymore. I'm about to come untucked. Nancy Pelosi is in the news today. She was uh, reported. Uh, first of all, can we just talk about how the fact? Let's let's uh, let's take a moment to uh, read this freedom hating, America hating, Christ hating bitch for filth. She looks like she fell into a a dumpster full of Botox needles. She has no eleganza. She is busted as hell. She doesn't beat her face with Mac. She beats her face with hypodermic needles and double into dildos. Yeah, she's in the news. She was uh, in the news today because uh, she was caught on the in the on the back alleys of San Francisco in the basement of a San Francisco uh, pizza shop. Handing out hand jobs to children. It's it was it's absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable the depths to which Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton and RuPaul and I'm gonna go ahead and go out there and say it, uh me, me, I'm first, the depths that they will go to secure their illegal child sex trafficking rings. It, it is sickening, and I mean in the bad sense of the word. Not in the good sense of the word sickening. It, this is sickening in the bad sense of the word. Kissing hands, shaking babies, that's how these agents of the new world of wonder order operate. And I'm glad that you are woke to that, Lady Wani. By the way, Lady Wani, I'm sure you were looking fierce and dusted and sickening tonight. You're on the way to take whoever's man you want by exercising your God-given Second Amendment right. That's the right to keep and bear Mac. But 
Basically, I just uh, I want to spend the the first few minutes of this uh, Nympho Wars just reading these new world of wonder order bitches for filth. Another another busted queen grandma here, like is talking about falling into a landfill full. Of Botox needles. And she's not sharing. Thank you for, thank you for your kind words, uh, Lady Wani. I'm so happy you find my eyebrows to be on fleek. And that you uh, clocked me as fishy from the moment you came in. Does my heart good to know that there are still patriots out there who, understand, who appreciate a proper facial beating. Which, you know, I'm old fashioned, I think that you need to beat yourself red. As red as possible. Red from head to toe. You need to look like you were on a good stack of supplements, red pill supplements. I take so many, I'm not even, you know what, I didn't even beat my face look like this. I just take so many red pills <coughs> that I generate, I secrete my own blush from my facial pores, from all the red pills that I take. And that's no lie, hunty, that is no lie. I serve looks and I serve truth here on Nympho Wars. Now, I can't stand looking at Grandma's ugly face there, thinking of all the satanic rituals that she's cooking up for our country. I know she's going to try to come back in 2020. And I just got a message out there for President Trump. No tea, no shade. President Trump, you have got to rest yourself from out from under the control of the new world of water order. They've got to our boy. Y'all, they've got to our beautiful baby boy. The deep state, the permanent state, the rue state, as we'll call it. They've gotten to him. No tea, no shade. Still respect the man. Still hope for the best of him. But he's got to wrest himself from the control of the globalists and the Zionists and Trixie and Katya. Trixie and Katya, by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go off. On the fact that Trixie won All Star Season Three, all right, she is under the employ of Viceland. One of the, it's an HBO hangout, and HBO, as we know, is under the control of George Soros. That means that Trixie and Katya are agents of the New World of Wonder order. They are spreading misinformation on their Viceland show, and RuPaul's in on it. The Queen of England's in on it. All the queens are in on it. Serving looks and serving truth. You're on Info Wars. And I said, it's time for us in the midterm elections and the next presidential election cycle to say bye, Felicia, to all the remaining remnants of the deep state and the new world of wonder order. Kick them out. Kick out all of those shady queens. Cory Booker, you've got to go. Uh, Jeff Flake, you've got to go. <laughs> Out with RuPaul, in with Rand Paul is what I'm saying. Burns me, thank you. Took me a while to beat my lips mm, into perfect submission tonight. But I won't be taking any kind of injections the way that Nancy Pelosi does in her face and in every other orifice as she is penetrated in every bodily opening and at the, uh, as, 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 uh, uh, naked men dance around the statue of Moloch at the Bohemian Grove. It's not that kind of thing. These these lips here, they are all natural. All natural, patriotic, red-blooded lips.
We do have our Discord open. We are taking calls. Whatever current events or truth you want to serve, hop in Discord, and you are welcome to do so. Hey, Kim, Kim Trails. Kim Trails. Yes, yes, we have a call coming in. Thank you for uh, your yeah, call, Patriot. Long, long time listener, first time caller. I just want to uh, thank you for doing the Lord's work uh, and exposing these reptilians for who they really are and thank taking you, our, you, taking you our country serving, back. Serving truth along with look. Slay Queen, what, what is your question? Or perhaps you, you, you have a statement. Yes. I believe we've, we've lost that caller. We've lost that caller. It, I, it, this has to be the workings of the new world of order. order. And it looks like we've got, we're, we're being spammed. We're being raided. So, yes, the, yes, yes. We are being, it's, it's, it's like the studio is being taken over by spam from RuPaul and her flunkies in the New World of Wonder Order. It's like my, my, my ears being penetrated. My, Hunty's my ears being penetrated with all these uh, notification sounds. Uh, j just a moment, we have uh, the, the Discord lines uh, are, are being spammed. Our phone lines are being spammed by the uh, agents of the New World Order. They're trying to, they are trying to obfuscate the truth. And, that, and now it seems like our chat is busted. Let's get, it from back from, get this show back from busted to dusted. The way we need to do with our country, ladies and gentlemen. Busted to dusted is the direction we need to go. President Trump, no tea, no shade. You need to get your agenda turned around and back on the right course. Anyway, thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, it seems that we were actually just being raided by patriots. Thank you for your patriotic raid. All you patriots joining us here on InfoWars. Let me get the, uh... All right, our, disc our Discord lines are back open. Discord lines, phone lines are back open in the form of Discord. Hop in Discord if you want to be on our phone lines here for Info Wars. Keep on slaying, you patriotic queens. Slay those redcoats. Yes. I say no queen and no to kings as well. I'd like, I'd like to step forward and blow the whistle on this uh, whole George Soros. Uh, uh, yes, thank you, caller. Thank you, caller. Go ahead. Go right ahead. Confirm the Bohemian Grove. It is uh, factual, and I would, I would uh, answer any questions right now being a whistleblower uh, of this uh, cabal. Oh, yes. Yes, Queen. We have got here, in the, here calling in right now. A whistleblower from the Bohemian Grove. What is what is the position you hold at the Bohemian Grove, caller? Grand, grand Elk. I'm the Grand I, I mean, uh, uh, I'm, I'm a new member of the uh, Bohemian Grove um, members. Is that it? <clears throat> oh, I see. You are uh, you recently initiated in the Bohemian Grove. Are you are you undercover? Are you correct. doing a a, a James O'Keefe style infiltration of? Uh, those uh, busted bitches at the Bohemian Grove. Those busted bitches, in fact, are the ones that we we, we need fear. I, 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 I fear nothing. I'm a fierce queen, and I do not fear the New World of Order Order. That is why I am here on public access TV speaking out against, against uh, Jared Kushner and RuPaul and the Queen of England and everyone else in the Illuminati. I'm not afraid at all. But uh, what insights do you have, caller? 
into uh, yeah. what's going on in the Bohemian Grove these days. We haven't we haven't heard much about it since Nixon blew the lid off of him back with his famous the tapes. The president has recently just our beloved president uh, has just recently uh, been inducted, as well as I- Ivana Ivanka is the first female Bohemian Grove inductee. Uh, just happened. Well, it, it comes as no surprise to me that that extra busted ass bitch Ivanka has been sworn in because her, her and her husband Jared Kushner are Zionist globalists of the highest order. I, I, it's it pains me to say this, but I believe that and no tea, no shade. President Trump's children have been replaced. By lizard people, except for Baron. There's still hope for Baron. I don't think that they've gotten to Baron yet, but Ivanka and Jared Kushner definitely see when she converted to Judaism. I think that is when Jared Kushner, known reptilian, implanted her with a reptile brain. And that's why, and of course, as we all know, President Trump, no tea, no shade, believes whoever is the last person in the room to make an argument, that's who wins with him. And it's usually his smoking hot daughter. I call her a busted ass, but she's she's actually she's actually very uh, dusted. She's actually the exact opposite. She is dusted. She is fierce. She is sickening. I can understand why even her own father would be seduced by her fishy feminine wiles. Anyway, call her. Go on. Jared Kushner uh, is not who you think he is. He's, uh, he's perhaps the most attractive uh, Gentile man uh, I've ever met. I would have to agree. I think I think that he is weedy. I think that he does not even lift. Uh, he would actually probably make a pretty sickening queen if he put if he put his mind to it. But he is not a real man. Do you, you disagree with that, caller? Oh, no, no. He is, uh, he is, he is not a real man. Correct. He is a uh, reptilian. But he is quite, quite Gentile. Oh, I see. I see. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you, you can still be a, a goy and a Zionist. I mean, that's, that, that's something that a lot of uh, Christians get jipped into is becoming a Zionist, which has nothing to do with Judaism and everything to do with globalism. It's the new world of wonder order. RuPaul is at the top of the pyramid. And she's... Anytime someone dares to speak the truth on her on her uh, show, whether it's Mimi I'm First or, or uh, Willem Belli, they gotta go. They get kicked off. And they say it's because, oh, they broke the rules of the competition. No! They are within their constitutional right to compete on drag race. And they're kicked off because they are truth tellers. It is so sickening and not in the good way. I'm pissed off about it. I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm about to come untucked. Do we have any other calls? Let me see. Let's go to the, let's go to the uh, chat room. Getting a lot of support from uh, patriots in the chat room. You're all sickening. You're all sickening. And I do mean that in a good way. Exactly. Like, be like, like, not unlike the characters from the '90s sitcom Dinosaurs. You are right about that. See, Barracks Light. They have taken over Drag Race. Michelle Visage has long been a very obvious reptilian. Just look at her nose. Look at her nasal structure, and you can tell that Michelle Visage is a reptilian. She might have been the very first reptilian. She might have been who turned RuPaul. RuPaul used to be a patriot, used to be a good, red-blooded, God-fearing American. But at some point, she started running the New World of Wonder Order. And I have to think that maybe it was Noted reptilian, Michelle Visage, who turned her. 
the way that Jared Kushner reptilified Ivanka. And they're slowly starting the process with uh, the Donald. And we got we got we got to turn it around. We got we got we got to turn it around. Yes, call it, call it, turn, turn your radio down. Hello? Hello? Yes, call it, can you, yes, turn, please turn your radio down. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, so, um, Kushner, Kushner, okay, so question, um, if yes, putting tinfoil on, and, yeah, if, if putting tinfoil on your television antennas makes channels come in a lot more clear then why does putting it on your head protect you from the aliens thank you very much well i mean tenfold obviously it doesn't actually protect you from uh having your thoughts read by reptilians or clintons it's just i mean i gotta do it if i want to get this this wonderful, beautiful, fierce and dusted uh, uh, layering that I have in my natural hair. These are not extensions. This is not a weave. This is real patriotic hair. And I use the tin foil to make it red, white, and blue. Hey, Kim to try to your belief, yep. It will not block the... Mind beams that the reptilians are beaming into all of our heads. It will not work that way. But what does work is when you buy my red pill supplements. Those do keep bad beta waves from penetrating your brain from interdimensional sources. And they also make you secrete your own sickening, beautiful, fierce blush. Don't beat your face anymore. Take my red pills that I'm that I sell on nymphowars.info and you'll never need to buy Mac makeup ever again. You you just secrete this this stunning sickening look thanks to my red pills. Check them out on nymphowars.info. Hey Camp Trails, I got a question for you. How do I go about uh, they're trying to teach my kid in school. They're trying to teach my how to uh, that the Earth is a is a like a ball. How do I get them to stop stop trying to teach my children that way? That's just broken. Yes, that is a uh, that is common misconception that is being pushed by the new World of Wonder order because they want to get your children away from the the truth of the Christian worldview that the Earth is flat. And that the sun that orbits us, that goes around the disk that we live on, is actually the person, the glowing, beautiful, sickening person of Jesus Christ. And what you got to do is you got to pull your kids out of those public schools that are run by the New World of Wonder Order, that are run by the reptilians, that are run by the Illuminati and RuPaul, got to pull them out the way you forgot to pull out before you had them. Pull them out of those schools and start doing uh, homeschooling. That's all, the, the only way the only way to let make sure that your kids are brought up in the truth is to do it at home. Now I don't have children of my own because my promiscuous uh, sex life uh, does not permit me to uh, procreate at this time. However, I do uh, believe that uh, it takes a village to raise a child. And I'm happy to be your village chieftain. Slay chieftain. Next caller. Hey! Yes, oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. This thing is so sorry. This thing is so sorry. Yes, yes, Patriot. Please turn, turn your radio down. I'm trying. Volume knob, Queen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oops. Yes, 
uh, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, caller. It. Look, looks like we've uh lost that caller. Hello, caller. Are you there? We're trying to get through to you. The reptilians are are fighting mightily to. Silence you. Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. Hell, yes, hello. Is this, am, I, am I speaking to the Borg? Is this the Borg I'm speaking to? Uh, not really. Slay Borg Queen. Slay the Borg Queen. Queen? Uh, Patriot Wani Bravo in the chat room says, I must be, I'm speaking to some sort of hive mind, some sort of alien hive mind is trying to communicate with me. Is, is this, is this part, is this, is this the front line of the interdimensional invasion? Might have to take a second look at that, uh, aluminum foil. Because it, it, it will not actually protect your brain from... The brain waves that are beamed into your brain by the reptilians who are trying to control your brain. That is that is that is the, the idea that that uh, that a tinfoil cap will do that. It's actually po poison in the well that has been spread by misinformation merchants of the new world of wonder order. That's what they want you to do. They want you to put on tinfoil on your head. What really helps are my red pill supplements that you can buy from my website, ninfowars.info. Belarus. We had to go far and wide in the deep web to get a to get a uh, to get a domain that they wouldn't shut down. That not that in the dot com dot org and dot net uh, ninfowars uh, domains were all bought up by porn sites. It's a conspiracy by RuPaul. I'm telling you. Y'all listen to me. Y'all believe me. It's a conspiracy by RuPaul. That bitch is busted to death. And she is trying to bring the house down. And by the house, I mean our United States of America. I'm serving looks and I'm serving truth here on InfoWars, y'all. What do I think about the Avicii situation? Avicii was <clears throat> obviously murdered. His tunes were so jacked and so sickening. Just the most amazing patriotic dance music that you could find in any club. And he was blowing the new world of wonder orders uh, child sex trafficking conspiracy wide open with the messages hidden in his music and they caught on to him and they murdered him who ever heard of a 28 year old dying in any context it's never been done and they want to pull the wool over your eyes they want to pull the gold lame over your eyes like some kind of Lady Gaga costume but on Info Wars, we are serving looks, and we are serving the truth, and we are not going to let that happen. we got to get the truth out about the death of Avicii. He was trying to expose the New World Order, the Illuminati's child sex trafficking, global pizza-related child sex trafficking ring, and they murdered him for it. And it is sickening in the bad way. It pisses me off. I don't want to take it anymore. I'm about to come untucked. As to be, this is not entertainment, this is truth. Unless I am in the middle of a custody hearing in court, in which case, yes, this is very much just entertainment. Next caller. Hello, hello, can you hear me? This is Deacon Malin. Yes, hello, uh, thank you for calling, Patriot. Uh, yeah, I was, um, I gotta make this quick, cause Pastor Bear's at the pulpit. Uh, so, uh... You know, uh, Donald Trump's going to make America great again. And I just wanted to talk about how we am evangelicals are being sold short. Uh, I'll just talk about um, 
you know, Russia and all this shit. Uh, I want to say that uh, he didn't grab that woman by the pussy, even though that's his voice. He's our boy, even though he's 70 years old. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's our boy. He's our sweet baby boy. He's, he's our... He, and and the, the deep state is getting to him. They're, he's, it, it, he's cracking under the pressure. I, I never it, thought this would happen. It, he was always such a virile, masculine, uh, just the picture of masculinity. And I never thought yeah. they could break him. But they're breaking him. Yeah, because, you know, he fought to keep that hair, taking that medicine that affects your mental state. But I think he's losing the battle there, too, because of the stress. You know, but um, I want to talk about that restaurant guy who shot that restaurant in Washington D.C. You know, false flag. That can spit. It's yeah, false flag. Hang out just like when my duct tape comes mm -hmm. undone. Yeah, you know that we put that conspiracy theory. I meant those facts out about that restaurant, um, and uh, you know that was bullshit. You know that was bull that he got arrested because you know uh, he didn't actually hit anybody when he shot. Uh, even though it bounced around about ten times in the room, but you know. I just wanted to say, uh, you know, make America great. Hell and Rand, uh, capitalism. I, I I totally agree, caller. Thank you for your call, Patriot. Yeah, that that Waffle House thing, <coughs> that was that was. If we could just uh, key key about the Waffle House uh, situation for a moment, and thank you for bringing it up, caller. I was plum about to forget about it. Obvious false flag operation. Obviously, a partial limited hangout, like when your duct tape comes undone. About halfway down the tank. Partial limited hangout. That whole situation. And it was so it's so obvious that it was it was it all it was all just crisis actors. That guy who supposedly stopped the shooter, all he had is a little scrape on his arm. All he did all he did was walk outside and rub his arm, rub his elbow on the sidewalk and put that picture up on his Instagram page, photoshopped in some uh, hospital background. It's so obviously doctored. It's so obviously a false flag in order to take away our guns and our Mac makeup and all of our weaves. They're coming for our weaves. RuPaul wants all the weaves in America for herself. And the new World of War Wonder Order is going to take your weave and they're going to take your guns. Don't let it do let, Don't let them do it. Sell them the bills. Sell them the bills. Sell them the bills. Oh yes, uh, I am uh, getting uh, getting a word from my uh, pr producer, uh, my producer uh, Greg, whose voice has been unfortunately destroyed by uh, years of smoking because he's a God fearing libertarian patriot, and he'll do what he wants with his body, but he does have to speak through a uh, microphone to his uh, neck now, uh, as I'm sure to have to do as well within about. I guess 10 years time at this point. Thanks to all the uh, vocal fry that I affect. But he's telling me to remind y'all that if you want looks this dusted, this sickening, go to ninfowars.info, order the the uh, complete course of red pills, uh, Chemtrails brand red pills. You will secrete looks this good out of your face. All right, next caller. Or do we need to go to the uh, chat room? Let me see. Do we have anyone? No callers, on, no, no callers on the lines currently. Let's go to the chat room. What are the Patriots out there talking about in Nympho Wars land? Uh, what's the hops ask? How are Kerm, Peppy, and Michigan? Low blow. What's the hops? What low blow? You do. Everyone knows about my public uh, custody battle. With my uh, former partner, uh, Morgan Pierce, uh, we both lost custody of the frogs. But at least he's not poisoning the frogs with water to turn our freaking frogs straight. They're going to grow up to be fierce and fabulous gay frogs who are patriots, who are not going to let uh, Barack Obama and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and RuPaul take over this country and enforce their new world of wonder order. They're going to grow up to be patriotic frogs, and I'm going to ensure that that happens through the power of prayer alone. <coughs> oh, what's the Hobbs asked? What is Allison Mack's connection to the Illuminati? Another celebrity 
child sex trafficking bust. <laughs> Allison Mack has actually been a high-ranking member of the Illuminati ever since the second or third season of Smallville. Okay? And thanks to the patriotic work of independent investigators on a on the uh, Ninfowars subreddit, she has been brought to justice. Now, I don't know if uh, the New World Order, the New World of Wonder Order, excuse me, is going to get her off scot-free, find some way to get her off of the child sex trafficking charges, but my hope is that she actually uh, squeals and just blows the lid off the whole uh, Illuminati, Reptilian, uh, New World of Wonder, Order, uh, child sex trafficking conspiracy. They're coming for your guns. They're coming for our weaves. They're coming for our children. They're coming for our frogs. They want to turn our freaking frogs straight. I'm sick of it. I'm pissed off. I don't want to take anymore. I'm about to come untucked. Toga Barron's asked, where is Kirk Cameron? Uh, last I understood he was working at a Starbucks. Uh, just down the street. Great guy. Never gets my name right on my cup, though. Good God-fearing patriot. Got nice red cheeks. He takes my red pills. All he needs is a nice weave and a nice gown, and he would be another fierce, sickening, dusted patriot like this country needs right now. Oh, Mike's way. He, he he had his own rapture. That must have happened recently. I haven't been to haven't been to the Starbucks where Kirk Cameron works in a in a minute now. But uh, if he got raptured, then God bless him. He's soaring through the universe on a cosmic cloud. Uh, his spirit borne aloft on the wings of Jesus, experiencing all of the known universe, which is what God wants us to do. If only we didn't have RuPaul stopping us from doing that. We got to stop her. We got to stop her. What do I think of Leonard Nimoy's connection to the impending alien invasion? The alien invasion is not impending. It's here right now. Uh, I thought that we could count on uh, Leonard Nimoy to uh, be among our number. Uh fighting for the side of Earth, uh, Dimension 616 uh, patriots such as myself. But uh, unfortunately, uh, the New World Order, the New World of Wonder Order, they got him. The reptilians took him. And so now all we're left with is bloated booze bag uh, William Shatner. And you know that he sold out to the reptilians. They keep him in good uh, bourbon and cognac for the rest of his bet known days. Captain Kirk is not going to help us achieve the goal of soaring through the galaxy on, on, uh, on God's cosmic cloud, Dust, uh, 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 dusting our own cheeks with stardust getting it all in our weaves until we glow with the full fulmination of the goddess's glory. But I digress. But yes, Mike, Mike Sway, good woke patriot Mike Sway, he knows that the interdimensional invasion is already underway. And it's being led by Grandma here. Ah! Busted Grandma. <coughs> uh, I just like to read this bitch for filth at every, every possible opportunity.
Uh oh. Random. I think we're being invaded by a reptilian. Who are you and who are you working for? Were, did RuPaul send you here? Or was it the Queen of England? Or was it Nancy Pelosi? Which one of those busted ass bitches sent you here? I'm too formidable a queen for you to intimidate me. And the demon cat just phased through to his uh, own reality, his own dimension. We narrowly avoided, narrowly avoided a, an attack here in the uh, Info War Studios. It must have been the image of Demon Grandma up there. Summon that cat. I'll, I'll not do that again. Do you have any other calls on the line? Uh, hello. Um, uh, yes, thank you for calling, uh, Patriot. Hello. Um, uh, what I was going to tell you was, uh, if you look at uh, Star Trek, the original series, uh, the episode is called Arena. It has the reptiles. And William Shatner was their friend. He was telling us the truth back then. Well, yeah, he, I mean, William Shatner, he, the whole crew of the original cast of Star Trek was trying to tell us the truth about the evils of reptilians and Klingons. But we didn't listen. He, he was fighting that Gorn alien to, to some of the best fight music I've ever heard in the sci-fi uh, television series. Hello. He was fighting fight against the reptilians. But the Hello. new of Wonder Order turned him. They turned him into a bloated alcoholic and that's how they control William Shatner now. Through bourbon and cognac and occasionally tequila. Those busted evil bitches. I want to slay all those queens. Oh, look, look, Pastor Bear. You've got to understand that the corn are going to come get us. And we gotta watch out because they're gonna get our brains. Amen to that, Patriot. Amen to that. And that, remember, do, do not believe the lies that you've heard that aluminum foil is gonna save you from having your brain raped by the reptilians, okay? You need to go to ninfowars.info and order my full course of red pills because those will block your brain waves from tampering by the Illuminati. RuPaul cannot tamper with your brain waves if you take my red pills. Look, I was doing some scientific research in my basement on your red pills, and apparently there's a side effect. The they basement, the basement I, might I add, is the laboratory of democracy. Go ahead. It's exactly. They protect you from the Gorn. They protect you from the lizards. That's, yeah, yeah, that is so right. It's it's a great way to uh, escape from the control of the of the uh, reptilians. As we all know, reptilians are cold blooded creatures, and so they cannot stand the uh, dank wetness of a basement. They can only be up and about in the daylight. But if you're not careful, they can send vampires after you in the basement. So make sure that you are hanging plenty of garlic in your basement, so that the vampires who work for the reptilians. Can't get you during the, during the night time or whenever you're down in your dank, dark, wet basement. Well, uh, thank you, honey. I gotta run. I've gotta run, honey. I'll catch you later. Um. <laughs> yes, thank you for the call, Patriot. Neil Fletcher, you think I have DSLs? These are all natural, patriotic, red blooded lips. They are full of red patriotic blood. You won't see me going and getting the injections the way that Nancy Pelosi does, the way that Hillary Clinton does, the way that that uh, Barbara Boxer does, or the way that Diane Feinstein does, or the way that RuPaul does. No. All Natch. All Natch. Slay Queen. So we're about to uh, 
enter uh, hour two of uh, <coughs> Nympho Wars. We're going to hijack the remaining uh, programming block. Hello? You're like hey, hey, excuse me. Hey, hey, hey. what are you? Who, who you sent you? Did RuPaul send back. you? Did the Queen of England send you? Did did Nancy Pelosi send you? No, like... Did I Ivanka Trump, Trump send you? I thought you paid for my fucking public access box, and you're like... Breaking into it. Oh, you're you're going to do that celebrity show when we are here trying to serve looks and serve the truth, and you're coming in here, and it's pissing me off. I'm not going to take it anymore. I am pissed off. I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm about to come untucked. I'm about to unfucking tuck your fucking shit because I have shit to fucking fucking do on my channel. It's like you, you, you don't have it. I'm, I'm about, to, about to pull my weave off. About to pull this bitch's weave off, too. I'll tell you what, 